Hello guys, what's in here again? So today is a night video for Wim Technique series and we're gonna build a Wim understanding from the previous video one by one and today's topic is like a following up and also related to the previous one as well and this time it is about auto command group with the bonus of the content that strongly relate to each other as well that working together to make it work and that's called auto command exclamation mark and we're gonna see what does it mean by that okay which i'm writing so let's just recap a little bit slightly that on the previous one we have this section uh, already commented this section that like a try to define the things you have a uh, two variant of style so you can have all the things inside a single line or maybe separated into the multiple lines it depends on your preference and most likely or almost all the time that you're gonna just have uh, just one declaration if you if you want single line okay you do it do that but if you want this you're gonna have that so either one of it you're not going to have both of it at the same time because it's gonna be deprecated okay we're gonna see the effect of that so let's first get a feeling of how auto command group i'm gonna see i'm gonna i'm gonna call it shortly as our group from now so let's get a feel of our group that we have a uh, ultimate build sample too is the name of the old group here and inside we have the same declaration as we used previously and end of the our group you can see that i specifically still comment this line it is the auto command exclamation mark that i'm gonna focus next of what the effect of it is. Um, okay, so save and then go to the sample that we have. This is a sample program in C++ that we have the same as the previous time. So let's try to simulate it that I want to modify the main source file. Yeah, and I add some code and then I write it. And now you can see that it's execute the commander be just uh, Declare inside the Wim RC files and it's try to build means and compile it and also build the executable binary files and we execute it and its result is high. Yep, so that's the effect. So, so, so we're gonna question why we need to use our group. Why not we just do the same things as previously? All group will provide you the flexible and very manageable for the command auto command that you have in size because it's really suitable for the win plug in the wrappers and also if you have multiple or several of declaration and configuration like this, it's not going to break each other or, or break the globally defined or something like that. So what you define, what you declare is not going to break certain we plug in in either way, maybe syntax highlighting or something like that. So uh, let's see the effect of auto command exclamation mark here. And actually the meaning of this is it try to remove something. So okay, let's let's try to um, do the main things again. And we touch right, as you can see the same effect gonna happen that is gonna build. The things. What if I source my WinRC files again? Now I source it two times now, and I execute it. I write a file, I add the line, and write a file, and now you're gonna see it's execute two times. First, it's gonna try to build main normally the same, and then execute it result high, and then next time the second time you do it as the main is already compiled and built it's just going to execute the executable files so we saw it's going to talk so what happened here um, it turns out that uh, wind system is not try to like uh, um, differentiate between the source sourcing each time that you do it so if you source multiple times, it's gonna like uh, go through the WIMRC files again and then add things on top. It's not the erase thing, the previous thing. No, 
it's gonna add on top, add on top. So if you define this thing all group and then you source it, okay, you're gonna do it one time, right? But if you source it again, it's gonna keep doing this another time, another time, another time. So that's the reason for auto command exclamation mark to be existing. So if we uncomment this now, you're gonna see the effect. I'm gonna quit the files and then do it again. Okay, the first time it is fine. What happened if I source this again? Sort it two time now. Normally it should execute two times. So let's see what happened. Now I do one time. Let me sort this again. Let me sort this again. I sort it uh, the third time now. And I writing things quite fast, it still execute one one time. So that's it. This auto all group provide the ability that if you execute auto command exclamation mark, which means auto command removal, it's gonna remove all of the command that you defined inside this group. I am mixing around define declare now, so pardon me and excuse me on this um, I'm gonna say declare okay. um, yeah so every time is so the next time that you source the WIMRC files is gonna erase all of the existing auto command that you have declared previously and go afresh go new for this one so it's gonna execute properly just once okay so now the core concept about all group and auto command exclamation mark is clear now and let's see some more example to have the better understanding of the effect of the configuration so let's say i'm gonna uncomment this you're gonna uncomment this as well so you're gonna see that we have the same configuration that it should do two times for when we write something one time here and another time inside of the all group you might see that we have auto command removal inside here already but this one is going to remove the command inside of this group only it's not going to be responsible for something individually declare like this so it's not going to remove these two lines for us we're going to see the effect but additionally when we read the files let's just add these four additional things it's gonna when it read the files into the buffer it's gonna ex code as a message inside Wim message output itself at hello world so okay I save this and then I go I quit first. Let's go. It's gonna say hello world. Okay. Auto command bug read here effectively come into play. And you're gonna write it. You're gonna see that it's execute two times. Definitely. The one the first time is come from this, the first title that we de declare, and then and next time is here. So you can see that auto command exclamation mark here removal is not effective for the one or things outside of its own group. It's just responsible for things inside the group only. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do next is that I'm gonna try to remove all of the auto commands for specific event. Yeah, you can read more for the help uh, explanation inside Vim itself as well. You can do hash and then auto cmd remove and you're gonna see the, the pattern, the things that auto command exclamation mark gonna follow by group event pattern and command or something like that. So it say that if we use something like this, it's gonna remove command associated with event and pattern and then add the command. Yeah, so you can try to read it. So, for the most efficiently declaration for auto command, individual auto command outside of the all group, 
you can add here. You can add here. So this one is going to be uh, make sure that this particular pattern and event is removing is removed first before you add a new element. Yeah, so it's like a, okay, I remove the pre-existing one if it there's any, and then add the command to it. So yeah, but anyway, it's just responsible to remove the previous one of that declaration. It is not going to make any difference from what we try to do, but it's just more efficient that we make sure it's gonna be this one. So we're gonna see that. Uh, okay, I'm gonna comment this one first. You're gonna see that is doesn't make any differences yet. So hello world, right? It's gonna write two times, one, two, the same. Yeah. Okay. And if I source it again, okay, and write, it's gonna still. Oh yeah, it's gonna still uh, write two times. Yeah, so let's move on. So the next example is that uh, if I uncomment this line, this is going to mean that remove all of the auto command that hooked up with the right post event. So right post event we have here, here. As you can see, this is not remove auto command inside of the all group. It's just a remove these two things so let's see what happen. so if we have this thing what it's gonna do is gonna show hello world when we finish reading it and then when we write the files it's going to output and try to make this one okay let's see here hello world let's write it ah, okay we have things executed just once, so it's correctly as expected. Oh, okay, I forget to try to source to see what can happen. So execute correctly the first one, and then source it again. And then try to write it is properly uh, executed correctly the same now. So we are fine. And now let's move on. If we try to remove all of the command inside of the all group that we have as well, so use this line. Um, yeah, what gonna happen? So let's try to see. Nothing should happen this time if we write it. You see, even if we source it again, it doesn't matter now. I just wanna try to demonstrate that sourcing not going to be a problem. So we write it again. It's nothing happened because all of the individual commands and also inside of the all group is removed are removed yeah okay so the last one if we try to declare a new group with new name as you can see the same the same inside here so now what we're gonna have is that it's gonna execute auto command inside this group instead okay hello world okay it's executed once definitely from this one sources again once good and tough and yeah i think we cover all of things so to summarize this thing so whenever you try to use auto command and also all group um, if you can try to use all group and then group all of the related auto command inside so you can make use of auto command exclamation mark so this one is to remove to clear the things so this is the most sane way to do things but if it's not possible make sure that you Add exclamation mark after auto command as well. This one is going to ensure that this line or this particular declaration that you have 
is going to have this one instead of it, so it's not going to be duplicated because it's going to try to remove the specific one for the event and part, and then you're going to add a new. Yeah, so this is for today video for all group and auto command removal. Okay, thank you, and see you next time. Make sure you subscribe and like the video or maybe ask a question if you start on something. Thank you for now.